Hello there, it's me, Agil Thorson, and this time we're going to go north of the border to our friends in Scotland. It's come to my attention that we haven't done as much about our friends in Scotland as we should have done. So let's put this right, and it's a, a Scottish tale called The Graham of Morphy. You forgive my Scottish accent and things like that. Here's the story anyway, it's set in the 12th century. The Grahams of Morphy were powerful landowners. They did very well, but things faded and their power declined. And the old woman of Mims used to say, it's because of the building of the castle. That seems interesting. And what it was, a certain Lord of Morphy had captured or induced a Kelpie, a river spirit, which was a river horse apparently, to carry rocks from the river to build the castle. And the Kelpie was not very happy about this at all. So it was, these big rocks came in there from the riverbed and up there. Yeah, said the Kelpie. I don't like this. This isn't right. No, no. You'll do as you're told. Now get on with it. The sooner you do it, the sooner you'll be free. And so it was. Month after month, he bought these stones and the local men built the castle. And a grand castle it was. It had portcullises, turrets, and they built a great moat around it. But still the Kelpie laboured on. Oh, I don't like this. This isn't fair. You wrote the castle. And uh, the guy said, get on with it. Stop messing about. Get these rocks out the river bed. I said, lash. Oh, you would as well, wouldn't you? And so it was. On and on, day in, day out. When the sun was there, the poor Kelpie was sweating, and when it was cold, he was a freezing, and when the wind was blowing, he was cold. Ah, don't like this. This is no right. You should let me go. I told you, you build my castle, and I was a last you won. Eventually, the castle was built, and he says, "Right, Kelpie, you can go back to when she came." Yeah, hey, you are right and swain, so you are. And he came out with a poem, so please forgive me. Sir back and Sir Baines, driving the Laird of Morphy stains. The Laird of Morphy will never thrive, as long as the Kelpie is alive. And so it was. The Lords of Morphy declined. They lived in a beautiful castle, but uh, it takes money and power to run a castle. What are the Kelpie? Well, as far as we know, he's swimming up and doing the rubber, having a great old time. But, uh, yeah, I think that sort of paid the Lords of Morphy. Now then, that's basically the story. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've not offended our Scottish friends with, our, with my terrible accent, but it's the best I could do. So... Hopefully we'll have a lot more stories from Scotland as there's a whole plethora of tales from that area. And uh, very interesting they are too. I've got a book at home that I shall look through and prepare some stories again, so don't worry. And uh, I think we could do with some more sort of Irish, Welsh and even Cornish folk tales as well as the English ones. They all, I mean, the, the, the Celtic areas have such poetic language and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it if you have maybe you'd like to subscribe if you'd like to press the bar and bell above my head there uh, you'll be uh, shown subscription you'll be shown information sometimes even before I know it uh, and if you press hashtag fairy folk tales that'll come up maybe you'd like to leave us a comment we're always pleased to hear from comments and it takes us a while because we're international, don't you know? But uh, we will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you've liked it, let us know. If you haven't liked it, let us know. But let us know why. Constructive criticism is worth rubies. Insults are worthless. So anyway, I hope you uh, will let us know on that one. And uh, maybe you've got ideas of what you'd like to see. 
Maybe you've got ideas of what you don't want to see. Let's remember this is as much your, your channel as ours. We're here to entertain you, to amuse you and to educate you. Yes, sometimes we make mistakes. We're only human, uh, despite what people may say. <laughs> and uh, we always, if we get it wrong, we'll let you know. And we'll admit to it. If we get it right, we'll let you know and admit to it. So anyway, that being said, I wish you all well and stay safe and make the world a happier place. Bye.